I'm sorry about yesterday. Look, you know how much I hate magic. I've made that perfectly clear, and I'm not going to pretend otherwise for you or anybody else. But I went too far. So I'm sorry. Anyway, on with stupid class. Actually, first I need to say one more thing. Every one of you guys is an idiot. <laughs> I realize that from the way you approach these classes. None of you understands a single thing about how magic really works. This coming from the disaster of a mage who can't even one-line a chant as simple as Shockbolt. Okay, you got my ears burning with that comment, buddy. It's true, I don't really get into mountain manipulation and chant reduction stuff. But come on, you really think Shockbolt is simple? See, I told you, you were stupid. <gasps> but that's okay. Today I'm gonna teach you the truth about Shockbolt. We all know the standard chant. Thunder sprites. Pay heed and strike with your electric shock. The real shock is he needs the whole chance. This was like the first cell we mastered. Why is he wasting our time? And as we all know, mages with a real talent for mono manipulation can shorten it to thunder sprite shock for a quicker attack. Here's my question for you. Thunder sprites, pay heed and strike with your electric shock. What happens if you split this three-line chant into four? If you don't pause in the right places, the chant will fail. And the spell won't function properly. You want a prize for being obvious, dumbass? <laughs> of course the spell won't work as intended. I'm asking what'll happen instead. You get a random mess wire! Everyone knows that! Random? Really? I thought you said you mastered this spell. <laughs> Anyone else want to try? No? Fine, then I'll tell you. The vault will curve to the right. Thunder sprites, pay heed and strike with your electric shock! <laughs> That's just one choice. Make it five lines like this, and you shorten the range, or drop this part, and the output plummets. If you're claiming you've mastered the spell, you should know all this, right? Look, in short, magic is just an advanced form of auto-suggestion, self-hypnosis. We use the runic language for spells because it's the most efficient way to achieve that reshaping of the human subconscious. Then it's our minds, not the spells, that manipulate the principles governing reality. You may think magic's all about studying the laws of the world outside of us, but you're wrong. More than anything, magic is about probing the heart of mankind. You're skeptical. You think spells are more than just words, because words can't have so much power, right? Let's try something. Hey, white cat. Excuse me? Is that supposed to be funny? I have a proper name. It's Sistine the Bell. I love you, and I've been in love with you since the first moment we met. <laughs> there, you see? This white cat's face just turned beet red. With just a few words, I affected her mind and got a physical reaction. Language influences the mind to influence the world. That's all bad. <laughs> You idiot! Don't throw textbooks! You're the idiot! 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 Anyway, let's move on. Since it is about the language, the grammar and syntax matter. And by making subtle changes, you can reshape your subconscious any way you want. Okay, how do I explain the next part? Here, just watch. Paralyze. <laughs> wow, that was weaker than I expected. Well, you get the gist. You can substitute words, too. That's crazy. He didn't use one word from the original spell. Keywords to activate powers that have been embedded deep in your own subconscious. That's all spells are. It's an association game. A minute ago, I gave your classmate a nickname. Now what do you think when you look at her? A cat. Yeah, a cat. Chants work the same way. Make an association, and your mind can recall the power however you want. It's easy. So sure, you can translate and memorize chants exactly how this lame textbook says. But if you don't understand why it works, then you'll just be continuing the same magic for dummies class that you've apparently been taking since you came to this school. <laughs> no thanks. Right now, you kids are nothing but mindless mimics who can recite the spells you've been told. But if you want to become true mages, you've got some serious gas to fill. Now, we're going back to basics so you can learn them right. If you're not into that, you can...